All right, so by now you should probably have a good sense of where you're at with your sacral chakra. Now let's talk about some practical things that you can do to strengthen and heal this chakra before we go within and do the meditation. Practically speaking, people who want to heal their sacral chakra need to go have more fun. But how do I have more fun? Usually you're held captive by the voices in your head telling you why you're not good enough, why you're not social, why you're not attractive, all these other things. How do you break those voices down? Well, I do what's called comfort zone challenges, where I go out socially and I go and start doing things that break the rules in my mind that are supposed to keep me safe, right? Because we have these rules that keep us safe and prevent us from actually living. And we've got so many rules, invisible rules around us that we don't even realize. So to go have fun again, you have to make a fool of yourself first. This is like one of the things I teach people is that you've got to go out there and stop caring what anyone thinks. Because when you care about what people think of you, you shut down your sacral. You should basically declare to the world, I don't deserve to feel unless the world approves of my feeling. Think about that. When you care so much of what the world thinks of you, you're giving the world power over your emotions. Don't ever do that. And if you want to attract amazing people into your life, you have to not do that as well. Okay? Because no one likes a weak person who has given away their emotional power to the world and is looking for approval, looking for validation, seeking that, oh, you're good enough. No, that comes from within you. That comes from your authentic joy and your desires and your ability to feel your body. That doesn't come from the world. Okay. So, so back to the practical steps of what you need to do to strengthen your sacral. Go out into the world and start talking to random strangers. And each time, expect to have a laugh. You don't need to expect that they're going to like you, but expect to create some fun in the situation. And if you do this, you'll begin to program yourself and your reality to be conditioned for fun. When you condition yourself for fun, you're going to draw in those experiences that you want. And you'll start to break out of those invisible rules that I talked about. Because the rules kill fun. So step one, get out of your comfort zone, approach new people, and create laughs, create fun, make fun of yourself, get over your ego. And this is a process and it's not easy. It's going to feel like you're going to die the first time you do it, but do it for like a week and suddenly you'll take back all of your personal power related to your sacral chakra. It's awesome. Um, go out and socialize twice a week minimum. Go out at night and it's not hard. Just invite your friends, call a couple friends, tell them to invite some of their friends and say, we're going to meet for a fun, a game night. Or we're going to meet out, go get uh, some dinner and get a couple drinks. Just start doing this regularly. And it's like a muscle, right? Each one of these chakras is like a muscle. And if you haven't used it for a while, the first time you go back and open this energy center in your life and start to feel again, in this case, it's kind of scary, but it'll go away. And eventually it'll be like normal again. And you'll be so much happier. So make it a priority to go out there and socialize at least twice a week. Um, another thing is value fun and prioritize fun in your life. And it feels like um, a lot of times that we don't have time for having fun. No, let me tell you, we have so much time for having fun and fun is going to get you to your goals faster, believe it or not. You will attract better jobs, better resources, better people by having fun that'll take you directly to where you want to go. And it goes against everything that your mind wants to tell you about how pointless this going out and socializing and having fun is. But it's true. And I dare you to go out there and just try it and prioritize fun and watch your professional success go up with it. It's one of these amazing mysteries of the universe that, uh, you know, you just, you kind of figure it out as you, as you go. So go out and dance. There's another one because dancing is a very simple activity that just is getting in your body and it strengthens your root chakra and your sacral and the connection between the two. You're moving your roots and then pretty soon the energy starts to feel good and you just keep doing that thing. There's nothing intellectual about dancing. It gets you out of your head and into your body and go take a hip hop dance class or go take some salsa lessons. But 
Start to get comfortable with feeling energy in the body. These are all ways to open up your sacral and start feeling again and, and really free that part of yourself. Now, if you continue later in this module, we'll also go through the inner work of clearing your sacral chakra.